we had a nice fan, no head ass, right? That hit me up directly. Um, and they said some nice things. I, I'm, gonna, I'm pretty much going to read like, not just their comment, but like what they said to me. And I was like, damn, that's, that's awesome. Like, like what we do here, right? It might be at whatever level we're at. We're almost at a thousand subscribers, by the way, on YouTube, right? Almost. And we're on the, we're on the, on the up and up. Okay. Only one direction. All right. This podcast is a service is doing something for people. You know, <laughs> like, the, like, the, like, like we're, we're helping people out. We're, we're not everybody has this you know what i'm saying like where they can just talk dragon ball or anime in general right not everyone has that and apparently because of us they feel like they got that and that's fucking fire hey. so let me use another freaking uh where where's our where i where's the cheers button there it is shout outs all right, so that was uh, really nice. So here's the question, right? So here's the question. So this person writes, I hope this isn't this isn't too out of nowhere, but they said that I follow the podcast on here and I'm a huge fan. I tried sending this to the podcast DMs, like I said, but the DMs were closed. But anyway, I thought this might be a good topic to bring up for the podcast and would love to hear y'all thoughts about this on a possible scenario. And the scenario is... Broly and Gohan versus Goku and Vegeta. <laughs> what the, what's going on? It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just a scenario. Like, like a duo. Like, who would win? Like, or what would the what would the realistic outcome be if that was if that kind of thing was to happen? It sounds like a tag team. Right. That's are we talking. Are we talking fusion or no fusion? Ooh, well, see, I mean that, and that is why they asked the question for us to answer because we're full power and out of control. You feel me? Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on, bro. <laughs> I don't even think like that 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 fight or that team fight would even come close. You don't think it would come close at all? Nah, because Goku and Vegeta got crazy chemistry. Go how to Broly ain't got nothing. They just have their own powers individually, sure, but in in a team fight, like you talking about a like, team, like that's I feel cheating. like Goku and Vegeta. Goku and Vegeta gonna push Broly to the point where he's just gonna go nuts, and you know Gohan's not gonna be able to coordinate with him, and then go, uh, Broly's just gonna ragdoll his ass. But even if that were to happen, <laughs> even if that were to happen, like <laughs> if like we're trying to, I don't know, like even if that were to happen, where Broly like. Like goes crazy type shit. Like I don't even know if Goku and Vegeta would allow that to happen. And like in the certain in the certain setting, depending on how it's all set up and stuff. Because we all know as Broly fights, like we always say, like he gets stronger. These so are like, facts. These if are they, facts. If they want to win the fight, which we all know they that both of them do, then they'll do their business and then they'll take care of Gohan. Yeah. Or they'll take care of Gohan first, you know, and then beat up Broly later. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see. I don't know. Kai, you got you got anything else to add before I give my answer? I mean, if it's no fusion, I'm giving it to Broly, no Gohan. And if it's fusion, then I'm giving it to Goku and Vegeta. Mm, oh, so you think so if there's no fusion, if there is a rule, right? Because we we all we all love our, our rules in Dragon Ball, right? The the ever the actuallys and all that type of stuff. Um, so you're saying if there's no fusions allowed, you're giving it to Broly and Gohan. Just Broly. J <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so my man straight up is not even including Gohan in the, the, who's a part of the question. Not in the question. He's not even in the part of the equation. He, he might be a part of the question, but he's not a part of the conversation. I see. I see. <laughs> yeah, I see brother Uch is like, nah. <laughs> Yo, I mean, that's what that's like that's a nod of you're agreeing with what he's saying kind of nod. Right. That's what I that's what I figured. Okay. Shout outs. <laughs> and I'm just kind of I'm just kind of assuming that um qu questions like these, um, I'm I'm always going to take based on the present information of what we know. So, you know, ultra ego and instinct and all that shit, like obviously those exist or whatever, stacking exists, all that stuff. So um i would still 
I would still say that um the way that you know Broly should be written is definitely like it don't matter what the gap is like he's gonna close it out of rage he's gonna close it but, so yeah, I would give it to him if there's no fusion because if there is fusion it we already saw that like Gogeta's a bit too much right now and especially yeah. if they keep getting stronger individually he's definitely gonna be too much because Ultra Gogeta is way too much and we haven't even seen that yet so and we haven't even seen it yeah. Yeah. yeah, but we ha we haven't even seen Ultra Instinct, Ultra Ego against like Broly one on one type of thing either. So that's like that's another type of argument. Like we don't know how far or close that gap is, even if right. Broly were to fight during that whole um, yeah. fight duration. That's so, true. So that's why yeah, I would I would still give it to Gohan or not Gohan. What am I saying? <laughs> I would only you give, it to, give Go it to Goku. Yeah, Vegeta. I'll, I'll give it to Team Goku and Vegeta regardless, both ways, uh -huh. depending on how they both handle the situation. If they bullshit, I don't, I don't want to give anything to Goku until they figure his character out because I'm tired of all this form switching and rule changing and shit. Like they really just got to figure out what the fuck they want to <laughs> give to him and just let him have it because I'm tired of it. And Vegeta always get bitched. So you might as well just <laughs> count him out for that. So, I mean, so it's, a, it's an interesting uh, duo to say the least for, yeah. for Gohan and Broly. Because they both have a weak side. Yeah, and, and and it's weird. Their weaknesses are like, I wouldn't say really in tandem, but like, so Gohan has way more fighting experience. Even even though, even though he's he well he hasn't been Weaker. as reliable. But yeah, you know, like he's got to be put into like a life and death, like you know, like oh I have your daughter. Oh I killed Piccolo here's super saiyan 10 you know what i'm saying like he like that yeah. yeah so that's why it's not happening like just for a sparring match you know like like a duo like well you know what it would he's be not, he's not whipping it out it would it would be a great training exercise because again that would be like a really good way to sh to to even see if for one they'd be able to actually like tap into their respective powers right that be um and then two I think it would give it would give Broly and Gohan some real fighting experience that well more for Broly less than for Gohan because Gohan has definitely been in those situations plenty of times in his youth right um where he's fought alongside like other people and done all that type of shit already so yeah I mean that much that much we've already seen right but but he I don't think he's fought alongside someone like Broly though you know what I'm saying? Broly is a loose cannon. We can, he can be. And that's the thing. That's the dynamic. I feel like they'd be good for each other, low key. Low key. Because, you know, because because it's like it's almost as if like life and death situation, right? That's what bro that's what Gohan needs in order to really like fucking turn it up. But now, check this out. He is in a life and death situation. Because if being next to Broly, because if he right, if he can't get Broly to chill, then everybody's fucked. That's that's the thing. I feel like that shit would be an interesting thing to see because, like, now that Gohan is, I don't think it's arguable, I, it, or maybe it's debatable whether or not he's gonna really take, you know, what he's doing for reals this time, and like actually train and not just. Masanko, Masanko San Paul in in private, right? It's, it's more than that now. I think after this movie, we can all hope and freaking pray that they stick with this direction and he does take all of his training seriously and whatnot. But at the same time, I think that with that, if that stays, if that sticks, then he will be brought with Broly with Goku and Vegeta to like where Beerus's planet is. And now they have the whole training team squad now. It's like, it's literally four Saiyans. And I'm sure that, that would be comedy in itself. Beerus like, why are you bringing all these Saiyans to my planet type shit, right? And, and, and then Whis is gonna allow it because he brought some fucking fries or a, or a shake or some shit, you know what I'm saying? Like that's <laughs> all, like all Gohan has to do is like, oh, Videl made this for you. So and I train with y'all. Of course. Oh, oh delicacies from Earth. <laughs> right? So like that's you know, that's I, I think that I could see that happening. 
and it would make for you know like like we're talking about it would make for a really interesting like like sort of events just to see how they handle it because we know goku and vegeta should be able to like outdo them as far as the chemistry part goes but the but the fucking crazy part even about that right there is they only just started to get on that level with the recent fucking manga arc you know that shit was tough that shit was mad tough because the fact that they don't even have to say anything that's the that's the type of chemistry you want when you're fighting alongside someone that's the shit that goten and trunks have had We've saw we've talked about that Since already. Day one. Right. Mm -hmm. As you as the young young kids, you know? And that shit is OD. So I think, like I said, I keep saying this. I, I think that that shit would be really cool. Um, and it would make for an interesting turmoil of events because realistically, and here's the here's the realistic Dragon Ball sprinkle on on the actual, like this long ass answer that we're giving, is that the fight, there would be no winner. Okay, like there would there would be no winner, there would be no loser. It would just the fight would start, but then look what would happen. It, it would be distracted by more than likely Broly, because at some point I'm sure Mans will snap because he's not experienced yet, and so because of that, they're gonna have to work. It'll it'll probably turn into a three on one. <laughs> mm. It'll probably it'll probably turn into a three on one. Gohan has to survive, and then we'll see. We'll really see if Beast can uh withstand uh that right there okay freaking full power freaking <sighs> nah but i wouldn't even want it to get to that point because like uh like nah bro like i don't know because if it let's say let's say let, i guess we'll take it there so let's say broly was to go like wild and shit like that at that point it's like well at that point we'll definitely see i guess I don't, I don't want to keep saying power gap, but like, we'll really see the true power of like how Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego are by themselves, because we're not talking about Beast right now, but we're talking about between like Goku and Vegeta against uh, the out of control type of Broly. Mm. So like, let's say he did get pushed to that point or whatever. Then at that point, we'll see how cool, calm and collected Goku and Vegeta are at that point and, and how to handle it without going into Gogeta mm. type of thing. Like... And then I guess, I mean, I don't know how Gohan would do, but I ain't, <laughs> I ain't gonna give him high hopes. All right. But, but yeah, I don't know. that's kind of my thoughts on that as far as like him going out of control and shit. So, so at the end of the day, realistically, right, it, it really just comes down to like Broly being able to actually not go crazy and kill everyone. And and to see if Goku and Vegeta are really that much stronger now to for them to just win against Broly and Gohan. Because it's like whatever whichever the, comes first. The more I think about it, the more I realize how how fucking handicapped that team is, like the Gohan Broly team, because there's you have one that's got power out of control and the other one that can't control his power. Like like you know what I mean? Like <laughs> One of them, one of them just stays locked the whole time, and the other one's just overflowing at all times. You, so I mean, putting Gohan in the life or death situation means that Broly has to be out of control. Broly at, being out of control means it's a three on one, so that breaks the team. Mm -hmm. But if you're not in that situation, if you're not in the life or death, then Gohan's power is not coming out. So then you have a weakling on your team. So it's like now what? Right, because everyone's assuming that Gohan just can just turn Beast on and off. I don't think he right. can do that. Yeah. He's no, he's not there. He just unlocked that shit. Right. And we know how that goes. In the movie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's probably limited to how long he can even use it if anything. If we're going to say he can tap into it. He needs time to get used to but, it. But exactly. Uh, it's the, it's needs, the usual. He, he needs fighting experience with that form. Uh-huh. To be able to <laughs> <laughs> last longer with this. <laughs> so like like no. Nah. Yeah, so I, I uh, so and here in it, there's a lot of sub topics from this one question for us that would need to be addressed for in order for this to truly be answered accurately, because there's so many factors that play into it, because like the other thing I was going to say to you, Kai, was that 
Goku and Vegeta, like like Gohan and Broly have more to worry about. Goku and Vegeta have less to worry about. They just the, the only thing they have to worry about is surviving and winning. Because if Broly does go crazy, then that's a whole nother problem. So it doesn't even become a 2v2. Like I said, it'll just be turned into like a holy shit, this whole this whole sparring is off. We need to I was I was I was just gonna say, because you make a good point right there. Like they can literally set that rule and be like, okay, so we're gonna have this 2v2, but if he goes nuts, we fuse and we're done with this. <laughs> like we're we're clocking him out. Yo, that that that's fair. Nah, but they. I feel like I feel like before the fusion, they would test out their own strengths in Ultra Instinct and of Ultra course, Ego. Of to, course, to they see, would. But see. if he goes too far, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like they want. They're probably gonna try and see and check Broly to see if like their like their new powers are up to par. Like to him yeah. overflowing with power and like going in rage mode. Yeah. So like, because like if for example if they were to actually check him and like suppress his overflowing power and kind of just like be on top like that would be kind of sick that would be kind of sick that would be that really would be i mean for for goku and vegeta's sake and as far as va 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 bleh, i can't even <laughs> say the word of uh, validating there we go uh for them to validate their own new powers how great would it be if they could just take out broly <laughs> That you know what I'm saying? Crazy. That, that would, would be a really good indicator as to this power scaling or like the 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 how deep in that conversation that actually goes in because you know like a lot of people are just under the assumption that Gohan is just the best. He's the shit. He is the strongest. Without getting into that, because those are episodes and episodes of fucking content that we've already talked about. Despite any of that, the fact the facts remain. Not getting into those because that has everything to do with what we we're just talking about. But um, it is under the uh, impression that well, they are way stronger, and the only thing that is clear is Frieza. Because he what he literally by the definition of what one shotting is did that to both of them at the same time. So if that doesn't fucking say something to you, you gotta go get some cotton swabs, <laughs> clean your fucking ears, okay, and listen to what we're saying. Because Frieza is the real problem but that's a tangent because this is obviously not about frieza but bring yeah, frieza versus everyone go frieza wins done <laughs> next <laughs> that shit was frieza uh -huh. hey i like i like that one you get some claps for that because i got the button now for it so but yeah I, I i to just wrap this one up i i think that i think that broly is the real like wild card in and of itself in this whole situation um and this would also be very interesting to see gohan actually tag along with someone that he's not already used to fighting with because let's also acknowledge that man's his number one partner is piccolo mm -hmm. all right we see him he's got chemistry with piccolo but does he have chemistry with other people we've seen gohan in another you know reality fight with trunks kinda right but that gohan is no longer with us mm, no okay so then when i mean then if you want to really push it he has the the, the great saiyan man shit with with videl when she was saiyan man 2 but wait a minute saiyan man 2 didn't even happen until gt right hmm gt i think because i don't about gt well no because yeah because i i remember i remember seeing saiyan man 2 which is videl i don't remember if i saw it in z or gt that much i don't nah, remember z are you sure like what like but during what part though that's that's what i'm trying to like you talking about when gohan went super saiyan 2 in the tournament like well, i don't his... even remember them being in gt she was too old yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She, she might have donned the suit like once, but that's I don't what I'm think saying. that was a GT thing. I know that they were in some of those off movies for sure. That maybe, oh, maybe that's what it was. That's probably Cause, what cause it was. Because we saw we saw the Great Saiyan Man two in um, uh, Wrath of the Dragon. That's probably what it was then. So you're right. Technically, yeah. Dragon Ball Z. Yes. 
So yeah. I bring this up because I'm, I'm just going through the history of Gohan's partners, like chemistry wise, if there is any. And this would be the first time I feel like in a long while that he has had a brand new, you know, partner that is this much of an has has an issue of just being able to control his, you know, his everything. He doesn't really have like chemistry partners when you want to think about it. I was just going to say he, that he, he fights by himself for the most part. I mean, it's not really his fault that he's in the position, but from what I understand, I would say, but the only people I've ever seen him with is Krillin, Piccolo, uh -huh. and then if you want to argue Videl, but she ain't a true fighter. <laughs> That's kind of a hit on Videl, okay? But oh, she, yeah, it she, is. She, she ain't a Z fighter, especially no more. So it's like, you can't even argue that. Like, she's not fighting nobody nobody now she's off the shelf <laughs> off the shelf oh, she's not even but you know who is a z fighter now that can actually sense people's key put them on broly's <laughs> team oof we're just hitting yeah, the nah, low blows but, that's how you bring beast out but like yeah. like if you want to argue goku just because it like that's his dad and shit sure they they would probably have chemistry on the floor you would think you would think because like of all the training they've done in the past in z specifically and everything like that but other than that like gohan don't got no chemistry with anybody else on the z team like he don't got chemistry with vegeta he don't got chemistry with like with future trunks yeah necessarily he don't got like nobody nobody in super right now has chemistry with gohan i would say besides piccolo at this point and arguably goku but like goku hasn't fought with him or sparred with him in such a long time it's different now and so this this is their chance to get go tanks up to par yo go th listen go, i wish you got go, i wish I, I hope i feel like and that that is the hope i do hope that go tanks and just go and trunks really i hope they get more shine in the coming arcs they really need yeah, it because they look like they haven't done shit yeah, like they really need more attention. Like honestly, I mean, this is a whole this is a whole nother topic in and of itself, which I we we could get into like right after I finish this. Because what you said was true about Gohan, um, and, and he doesn't really have that chemistry because yo, what happened to superhero? He goes beast and then he gets fucking what distracted by who himself? Because why? He has his whole new attitude change, his attitude adjustment. He's like. Oh, uh, look at me. I'm fucking uh. like you see it in his face. And well, who who directed traffic? Piccolo, mm. the savior of the movie, the savior of the act who wrote the script. OK, like that Piccolo, ha he, he had the whole shit just mapped out. L reminder. OK, so you're welcome. Right. But this is what happened. So, I mean, now put him in a situation where he don't have direction. He doesn't have someone to keep him in check because how is he going to do that if that same shit happens? This fucking arrogance and all this shit. I mean, for, there it goes. See, there I told you go. it was going to fall. <laughs> uh, the, 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 the arrogant part that comes out when he's in this, when he unlocks a new form, is he going to have that same energy when Broly's going crazy? Because then that brings another fucking side question or scenario. All of out of all out of this 2v2, there's so many different things that could happen. Because it's just like they could be fighting going back and forth, sure. But then there's gonna be a point where I, yo, I thought I thought that this this would be crazy, right? If get, they have a a butting of heads, and then it just turns into Gohan versus Broly. To <laughs> and and they, Yeah, that's that's what I'm expecting. Yeah, and then Goku and Vegeta are just like, wait. Let them fight. <laughs> yeah, let them, let them yeah, fight. No, no, no. Goku's going to step in. Goku's going to step in. And Vegeta's going to be like, no, 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 no. He needs this. Yeah. That, yeah, that would be, that, that would be cool. That but would be would fire. Be I, hope, I hope. I hope. I <laughs> hope. So, that, so, that's, so that's the answer. That's the answer. How is the 2v2 going to go? Who's going to win? The answer really was what Uchi said. No one. Because it's going to start out as a 2v2. Broly's going to lose control. Then it's going to be Gohan versus Broly. And those two, with Goku and Vegeta, they're going to be snacking. And there you have it. But then but then at that point, like Goku and Vegeta, like assuming that they're going to be on standby and shit, they're going to overwatch the, the whole fight and kind of see 
how Gohan has been, especially with the new form, whether they know he has it or whether they don't know he has it. And then at that point, they're probably going to power scale in their mind and be like, where are like, where are they or where is he at right now? Currently? Yeah, yeah. Because like that, that, I mean, that's what makes sense. So, but if Broly really destroys him, like when that happens, like I'll give him a few minutes for like back and forth fighting or whatever. But a few minutes, th and that's being nice. <laughs> but and this is assuming, I, I mean, if Broly's already out of control, honestly, like I don't know how how long Gohan would even last. Yeah, you're not wrong. And at that rate, guys, is it really a two v two? Just, just, just do Broly versus Gohan. Just do it. Just do Broly versus Gohan first and foremost, okay? Because we know who is where they're at power wise <laughs> okay so because of that why don't we let the the under numbers go at it okay and they can settle their fucking tier list level all right because that's the only real way yeah no fuck a 2v2 they, they could literally just straight up just set up gohan versus broly if gohan goes to beer's planet while broly's there and then they're like oh what's up gohan type shit and then you know, <laughs> they, they they just want to see how he's been Right. So they put him up against Broly, who's trying to control his power. This kind of all makes sense, low key. And then they just watch the fight. They don't. There needs. There doesn't need to be a two v two because like Goku and Vegeta have been sparring over their training and shit. And they just tag. And they just brought Broly like to tag along to to learn more shit. Right. So if Gohan actually goes there because he wants to start sparring and shit, then who who? Who's better, like, to spar against other than Broly? Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Ask facts. So Yo, like, this is. <laughs> no, go, go ahead, finish, finish. Oh no, that's all I was saying. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I'll end it off that. I was just gonna say that I was like, I was hearing all that, and then it made me think about like Gohan actually getting to Beerus's planet, and my mind just sidetracked. I was like, yo, this man's gonna wake up to a different person there every single time. It's like party in Beerus's. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's funny. <laughs> like, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but I think that's enough of Gohan, though. Oh, yeah, he, see, we, 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 <laughs> he beyond the shit way too, way we too freaking. We hit the limit. We passed the fucking Gohan's talk time. Oh, that's that. Good shit! <laughs>